wedding celebration had taken place in town. Everyone was dancing, not one soul sitting down. The bride was a real beauty, none lovelier than she, perfect for the bridegroom, who happened to be me. The finest food and wine for all our guests, anything was there at their request. But as the feast continued, a problem came about. The servants came to tell me the wine was running out. Oh, winemaker, winemaker, he turned the water into wine. Oh, winemaker, winemaker, he turned the water into wine. The wedding would be over if something was not done. The guests would leave offended and say we had no fun. What could we do to change this? There was not ample time. What market would be open to purchase so much wine? Well, our dear Mary went to find her son. He was laughing, enjoying everyone. She posed to him the problem as if he could with ease change the situation in order to appease. Oh, winemaker, winemaker, he turned the water into wine. Oh, winemaker, winemaker, he turned the water into wine. Then Mary told the servants to listen carefully and obey her son's instructions exactly to the T. So Yeshua looked around him to see what he could use. Six water pots for cleansing was what this man would choose. Fill the pots with water to the brim. They did as he said, no one challenged him. Then he said to draw the water and pour a goblet's worth and serve the governor of the feast in the midst of all his mirth. When the governor had tasted this very sweet bouquet, he called me to his table and said I'd made his day. He said this wine was better than that which I first served. I did not say what took place. It was best he never heard. What a miracle had happened. All this was done for me to make our day more special than I thought could ever be. I know one thing for sure, that this man must be the Lord, for the water turned to wine by the power of his word. Oh, winemaker, winemaker, he turned the water into wine. Oh, winemaker, winemaker, he turned the water into wine.